Salam dari atas poko. Hey there, it's Kelvin from KITM, and you are watching Malaysia's first unboxing video of the DJI Neo. So let's go through at the overview of the box real quick. If you like to look at it clearly and detailly, you may switch the quality to 4K and pause the video. And I'm quite surprised that under the box, it actually it amplifies that it works on Mac, it works on Final Cut Pro, and it is made for iPhone. So for those who are using Android, maybe this is for you, maybe this is not for you. And right when you open the box, there is another small box inside which feels very recycly, environmental friendly, sustainable box, you know, with all the accessories inside, I believe. And the DJI Neo drone itself and two props. I repeat, two props, not two sets of props, but two props, the props A and props B. So I think DJI just assume once you crash, you only destroy two props. So two props is um, more than enough for you. And then after that, we have a sticker and a manual pack. We'll come back to this later. And also, uh, um, uh, uh, a controller for the drone. Okay, and that's all. So inside this very sustainable, environmental friendly box, recyclable box, I believe, you have a battery hub two batteries and hello where's the third one? Oh, I think it's in the drone and this is obviously where you charge your batteries and next we have a 90 degrees C to lightning cable which for you iPhone users there if you're not using the latest and greatest iPhone 15 Pro Max or the iPhone 15 Pro Max or anything about that you will need this cable to connect to your controller and next up, we have a standard C2C cable and we have a screw with a QR code on it. Anybody knows what QR code is for? Please tell me in the comments or, uh, you know, I also don't know what it's for. And that's all. And this is the battery hub with two batteries inside. And this is the DJI Neo. And this is the <coughs> controller. Controller and RCN3. Ugh. God, I hate this. And together with me here, I have my iPhone 15 Pro Max and the battery hub. You can see the battery hub is absolutely tiny. It is having the same width as my iPhone 15 Pro Max and the height. Okay, the size compared to the iPhone 15 Pro Max, you just cover the top of the camera section and that's it. That is the size of the battery hub with three batteries inserted inside. How small it is. And this is our sticker pack with inside it we have a manual, a manual, a manual, a manual, and a manual. So after going through the manual, the only interesting I found that that this drone is able to take off from your palm. Obviously everybody knows that, but specifically the steps is to turn on your drone first, your DJI drone, DJI Neo, which is from the battery, you tap once, tap and hold to activate the drone. And there is a button with six LEDs indicating different modes. And during the cycle of the modes, it will also annotate the specific name of the mode. So once you selected the mode that you want, long press for two seconds and the drone would take off from your hand, from your palm, in seconds that is the coolest feature for the dji neo and for the stickers there is my favorite dji mission which is to enrich your enrich and enrich our live sticker and also my favorite bring your sd card sticker and that's it so here's all the stickers you have so here is your dji neo compared to the iphone 15 pro max it is more or less about two iPhone 15 Pro Max parallelly put. And this is the battery section. It feels really like the old school walkie talkie where you press it and you pull it up. And you push it back, you gotta click. 
and this is the drum this is the battery and the battery capacity is more or less about same with my 2013 iPhone SE first gen it's around somewhere 1400 mAh hours and this is the gimbal this is how you take off the gimbal cover so just press here and pull it off like slightly just slightly and it comes right off you just press there pull it off slightly and it comes right off and up next we have our battery hub and this is a two-way battery hub which means you can plug in a cable to charge the battery hub you can also activate those batteries as a power bank and charge your devices and the last but not least is the DJI RC N3 this is okay that's it it is the exact same except the gimbal up and down rotating slider and the fonts everything is the same so the DJI Neo comes in two different kits which is the standard kit and also the fly more combo kit and I always recommend you for this specific DJI Neo drone always buy the fly more combo kit because each battery only lasts you 16 minutes on paper which means from your takeoff landing zone you fly away and coming back is about 7.5 minutes you know when you start from point A you fly for 7.5 minutes that's your maximum you could reach and you need to come back way earlier before that if you come back too late let's say your battery is at 30% or something or below it might automatically return to home or something so that is why you can only assume 60% of the maximum uh, flight time so 60% is about somewhere 10 to 12 minutes so the only maximum time suggested that you fly out and come back is only about 6 minutes so when do you need to buy the standard kits I would suggest you to buy the fly more combo first then once you crash your drone and you can't repair it or it costs too much to repair just buy another standard kit you know solve the problem and you get another battery that's it so once again this is Malaysia's first ever unboxing of the DJI Neo thank you for tuning in this is brought to you by a wannabe drone cinematographer Kelvin from KITM if you like this channel please subscribe please give it a like if you would like somebody you know your father your brother your sister to buy you the DJI Neo share the video to them and they should buy you a DJI Neo once again my name is Kelvin from KITM thank you for watching